It only happened in <laughs> certain little <laughs> spots, though. That's the problem. And got another round of that possible today. In fact, you can already see those clouds building right above San Jose right there. That is going to result in the potential for isolated heavy downpours yet again. And while most of the bay sits under sunshine, like you're also seeing above San Jose, there will be those locations that those dark clouds move overhead and, well, make for a situation like Daria encountered and some of us as well, where you're uh, running outside, you see some sunshine, in one minute and then the heavy rain the next. That's going to be most likely in Solano, Napa, Northern Sonoma counties, and then out into the Delta and the Central Valley, where we will see our best potential of even a few rolls of thunder. So far this morning, for the most part, it's just been a few isolated sprinkles. We got a light shower there just north of Milpitas, right around Union City. Uh, for the most part, it's fairly calm this morning, though. Radar looks a little more active this afternoon. We'll start to see those pockets of heavier rainfall, such as the case here on radar around noontime around the Tri-Valley on up into northern Napa and Sonoma counties and then you see how the, that line of showers develops towards the late afternoon into areas a little further south like Solano County. Also note still more snow in the Sierra today. It's not going to be as much as yesterday and especially not as much as what we saw on Sunday but enough to get roadways slick and wet up there for one more day. That's before we dry out tomorrow. Temperatures will start to warm slowly initially. Wednesday and Thursday feeling just a little warmer by by the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we're looking at some really warm stuff again. Something else we've seen the past few days have been some really strong winds, and that's a, something we're still in the midst of, 20 to 25 mile per hour gusts, but we are going to see a nice calmer day tomorrow. Looking ahead in future cast by Wednesday, still breezy in some spots, not quite as much so as what we're going to be today. This low pressure area does make its way out of the picture, and that high pressure ridge is going to start to build back in. This does mean that we'll be on a drier and warmer trend in a matter of days. So if you like the cooler stuff, it's great jogging weather, great hiking weather. Get out there, enjoy it. The East Bay has especially been looking at quite the cool down from where you had been uh, before, this cool, um, before this cooler weather. Palo Alto 62, San Jose only at 63 today. Yesterday it was upper 50s in the Tri-Valley. Today it's right at 60. Walnut Creek a nice 62 today. Even our warmest, Concord, Pittsburgh 64, Antioch only at 65 and some 50s near the coastline. Tomorrow's temperatures start to rise closer to 70 degrees. Most of us will still be in the 60s for Wednesday and Thursday. And then we're jumping right into the 80s starting on Friday and especially into Saturday. Sunshine comes back out tomorrow tomorrow and stays with us the rest of this forecast. Not that you won't see sunshine today. In fact, you'll see a lot of it, but it's going to be in between those clouds and it's sometimes dark clouds that could result in more rainfall for many of us. Rain. John, I'm excited for the sunshine.